Hi students, uh, in this video uh, we will discuss uh, preparatory examination uh, paper is there and this paper is given by Department of Free University, Bangalore. Uh, uh, dear students, in every year uh, uh, there are 10 questions are there, 10 one marks questions are there. Out of that you have to write all the questions, uh, there is no option for uh, one marks questions. Uh, but the, uh, this year they are given 5 extra questions. And out of that, you have to write only 10 questions, and it carries each carries each question carries one marks, and uh, only uh, you are, you have to write 10 only. Okay, now we'll discuss in this video only one marks questions, right? Okay, first question is uh, write the physical quantity whose SI unit is coulomb. Okay, students, we know already SI unit of charge is coulomb, so the answer is charge. Okay, now we'll discuss second question: define linear charge density. Okay, we know already linear charge density is denoted as lambda and lambda equal to Q divided by L. Here Q is nothing but charge and L is nothing but length. Okay, charge per unit length that will give the linear charge density and uh, SI unit of linear charge density is coulomb per meter because SI unit of charge is coulomb and SI unit of length is meter. So, SI unit of linear charge density is coulomb per meter. Okay, similarly, we have two another um, densities. One is a surface, uh, second one is a surface charge density, and uh, third one is volume charge density. Uh, right? Uh, in surface charge density, we have charge per uh, charge per unit area, and SI unit is uh, coulomb per meter square. And volume charge density means um, it is denoted as rho, and uh, uh, charge per unit volume. So the SI unit is uh, coulomb per meter cubes so the students in this way we are comparing uh, uh, one question answer plus uh, related to that topic we are um, comparing here ok now we will go for third question and how does resistivity of a nichrome uh, vary with absolute temperature ok it increases linearly the answer is it increases linearly now we will see we know already resistance of a uh, conductor is directly proportional to its temperature okay for example the um, uh, conductors like nichrome magnan is there and constantin is there all the three things magnan constantin and nichrome okay in um, if the temperature increases means you'll get uh, again um, increase in uh, it increase uh, resistivity also increases right okay resistivity of a nichrome vary with its absolute temperature means uh, it increases linearly right okay now fourth question is um, uh, the color rings marked on a carbon registers are red, red, red and silver. What is the percent, what is the tolerance of this register? Okay students, we know already how to remember this, uh, this type of uh, questions are asked in examination means we know already uh, one, uh, 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 one keyword is there, uh, this one, B, B, Roya, uh, uh, Great Britain, her very good wife. Okay, in this case, um, B belongs to 0, uh, it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, like that is there. Okay, gold, silver necklace is there, gold having 5% and silver, gold, silver and necklace is there. Okay, none color, uh, gold having 5%, uh, sorry, gold 10%, silver 5, okay, now see, in this case, uh, it is 10%, it is, so the answer, tolerance of this register is 10%, because, uh, gold silver uh, none is there five percent gold and silver is ten percent and uh, none color none of this means it is ten uh, fifteen percent is there okay the, so the answer is ten percent here right now I go for uh, fifth one what is Lorange force okay we know already uh, the force experienced by charged uh, particle uh, moving in a electric and magnetic field and that case will uh, experience a low range force okay when the charged particles are moving in electric and magnetic field means uh, force will be experienced and that force we call it as low range force right and uh, sixth one uh, state gas line magnetism students there are two types of two laws are there in case of uh, electrostatic is there and in case of magnetism also it is there okay we know already now we'll discuss the state gas line magnetism Okay, in case of magnetism, uh, we know already uh, net magnetic flux through any closed surface is 0. Okay, phi b equal to 0. Okay, magnetic flux through any closed surface is 0. Phi b equal to 0. But in case of electric field, it is different. Okay, in case of electric field, uh, net electric flux passing through a closed surface is equal to Q divided by epsilon, uh, 1 by epsilon times the net charge enclosed by the surface is there, right? 
ओके ना डिस्कस सेवें क्वेश्चन ड्रा द पैटर्न आफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लैंड फर् ए बार मैग्नेट ओके पैटर्न ई थिंक दिस इज वेरी सिंपल कैन ईजीली ड्रा दिस आंसर ओके ना सेवें एट्त क्वेश्चन इज वाट इज वैटे करे वैटे करे मीन पवर डिसपेशन इज जीरो ओके ओके इफ द पवर डिसपेशन इज जीरो इन सर्किट मीन वी कैन से दट इज पवर वैटे करे रईट ओके करे इन ए सर्किट सारी पवर डिसपेशन इज जीरो जस्ट यू हाव टू रईट पवर डिसपेशन इज जीरो मीन दट इज वैटे करे द करे इन ए सर्किट हूज पवर डिसपेशन इज जीरो दट विल गिव दि वैटे करे रईट नाउ डिस्क नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन मेन्शन द ऐंगल बिटवीन एलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन एंड एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इट इज फाइव बै टू आर नाइंटी डिग्री आंसर इज फाइव बै टू आर नाइंटी डिग्री बिकॉज यू नो आलरे एलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड एलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दीज टू आर म्यूचुअली पर्पेंडिकुलर टू इच अदर सो द म्यूचुअल पर्पेंडिकुलर टू इच अदर मीन इट इज एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू एलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज नाइंटी डिग्री रईट एंड टेन्थ टेन्थ क्वेश्चन Uh, name the electromagnetic wave which keeps the earth warm by greenhouse effect okay surely this is infrared radiation ir radiations right okay some other um, gases are there carbon dioxide carbon monoxide cfc like that there uh, but um, the electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave uh, which keeps the earth warm by green effect means that is surely ir radiation infrared radiations ओके ना ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डज रिजॉलविंग पवर आफ ए टेलीस्को चेंज अंड डिक्रीजिंग दि आपरेचर आफ दि आबजेक्टिव लेंस ओके ना से डिस्क दिस वन ओके ना विल डिस्क क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेलव How does the resolving power of a telescope change on decreasing aperture of its objective lens? Okay, now see the expression for uh, resolving power of a telescope. Uh, R P of a telescope is equal to d divided by one point two two lambda. Okay, here lambda is nothing but wavelength of light used, and d means aperture of the lens here. Okay, now see uh, R P of a telescope is directly proportional to its aperture. If aperture of the Objective lens uh, de in decreases means uh, automatically uh, resolving power of a telescope also decreases, right? Okay, now thirteenth question: Define impact parameter in a alpha particle scattering experiment. Okay, we know already impact parameter means uh, in scattering alpha scattering experiment uh, is there. On that case, uh, this uh, definition will come. Now see uh, perpendicular distance. Uh, between the uh, initial velocity vector of a alpha particle and center line of the nucleus uh, that will gives the central line of the nucleus that will gives the impact parameter right now in fourth question in, in, in which type of extrinsic semiconductor holes are mi minority charge carriers all right okay we know already pn uh, p type semiconductors are there and n type semiconductors are there in case of m n type semiconductor holes are the majority charge carriers in case of p type semiconductors in there are p type semiconductors are there and n type semiconductors are there okay now say in case of n type semiconductor minority charge carriers are nothing but electrons so the answer is electrons okay in case of uh, sorry in uh, in which type of extrinsic semiconductor holes are minority charge carriers okay n type semiconductors uh, in that case holes are the uh, minority charge carriers and electrons are the majority charge carriers right okay now 15th draw the circuit symbol of pn junction uh, diode okay now see this is the pn junction diode here uh, this type of diagram is there p type is there and n type is there and uh, this is a two diode uh, two terminals are there and that's why it is name is diode okay students uh, this question one more, all the one mark questions are discussed uh, right uh, this much in this video now in next video i'll discuss uh, two mark questions or uh, three mark questions next like that okay thank you for watching